A group of four friends set sail on that fateful morning of Saturday, July 19, 2014. They share a passion for exploration and go on their most challenging trip to date, with little idea of the dangers that lie ahead. Richard and Denisio were trapped in an unknown cave with nothing but the cold and darkness for company. How did their diving exploration take a disastrous turn, leaving them fighting for survival in the depths? Can they survive the storm and get out of the cave, or will they sink like stones? Join us as we explore the ups and downs of their underwater journey and discover if they could survive or sink. But before we dive into the unknown, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button to stay updated. In Costa Brava, Spain, four friends embarked on a cave diving adventure with the goal of reaching the mysterious Arese Cave in Cove del. Despite whispers of caution and its ominous reputation, they dared to enter since they were curious to see what was down there. The cave, known as the Cave of Caskets, is only 262 feet long and has an aquatic entrance that is 23 feet below the surface. The cave's mysterious interior poses serious dangers, but its unique geology and abundant marine life attract expert divers and marine lovers alike. Despite the dangers lurking within, the allure of adventure and exploration draws daring people to its depths. To enter the cave, divers must swim along the floor for around 25 feet before ascending towards a hump. Beyond this hump is a mysterious and mostly unexplored chamber with a rock-strewn entrance. The four friends, excited to push their limits and experience the unknown, set out on an adventure they wanted to share with their friends once it was over. Ricard, Denisio, and their unnamed friend eagerly slipped into the clear blue water, ready to explore. Meanwhile, their fourth friend stayed on the boat, ready to assist if anything went wrong. They were drawn to Cove del's Arras for the possibility of fresh discoveries, and they arrived at the underwater entrance of Cove del's Arras. As they approached the entrance of the cave, darkness loomed ahead, yet they remained determined to explore. However, to their shock, they suddenly realized they had forgotten a crucial safety measure, the guideline rope. Their third companion made the decision to quit the dive due to the oversight and the dangerous situation. Should Ricard and Denisio have followed his lead? Ricard and Denisio pressed on, and they ventured deeper into the cave with a thumbs up, their flashlights cutting through the darkness. As they progressed, the eerie atmosphere intensified and doubts crept into their minds. But driven by a thirst for adventure, they refused to turn back. Ricard and Denisio ventured more than 260 feet into the cave, and after sensing the risks of silt and confusion, they made a U-turn to head back up. But their fins had pushed up a thick layer of silt, bringing them into a nightmare of zero visibility. They were disoriented and lost, and despite their best efforts, they were unable to locate the exit. With their air tanks running dangerously low, waiting for the silt to clear was out of the question. But just when all hope seemed lost, a ray of sunlight broke through the darkness, sparking a newfound hope. Racing against time, they swam towards the light. But would this ray of hope bring them to safety? Hope filled them as they swam towards the promising crack, their hearts racing with anticipation. However, as they continued on, the crack narrowed and squeezed them firmly against its walls. Would they make it through this tight passageway alive, or would it be their final resting place? Fearing they were trapped, thoughts of a slow, agonizing death crept in. Miraculously, the opening stayed just large enough for them to pass through. They twisted and turned, navigating the small opening until they emerged into another area of the cave. Surprised by their unexpected surroundings, they discovered themselves in an air pocket. A fortunate finding given their dire situation. Luck was on their side, as they found enough oxygen to fill their lungs. They felt an adrenaline rush, as they realized they had cheated death at the ninth hour. Ricard and Denisio took photos inside the air pocket, savoring their unlikely survival. Their friends noticed something strange outside the cave, and reported it to the authorities. Fortunately, the Civil Guard of Spain was already on the scene and prepared to launch a rescue effort. Meanwhile, in the air pocket, they battled against carbon dioxide poisoning, dehydration, and hypothermia. Their situation grew more desperate with each passing moment, and they prepared for the worst. Ricard's strength waned, slipping below the surface one final time, and Denisio was unable to save him. Rescue divers found the lifeless body of Ricard and a disoriented Denisio clutching to a rock. Denisio didn't cooperate with the rescue team, and they brought his diving friend. After sedating him, they successfully brought Denisio to the surface, marking a rare survival in such circumstances.
Was it their excitement for exploration or a lack of caution that led to Ricard Indonesio's dive disaster? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting exploration stories.